And then I have this massive closet. If I wanted, I could even sleep in here. I mean, it's big. Like, you could fit like seven people in here. Three! Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Empathetic Wanders. If you are new to the channel, thank you so much for joining. Uh, welcome. If you are coming back for another video, thank you so much for coming back. Uh, my name is Jeff, for those of you that don't know. I'm from the United States, from California, and for the past couple years I've been traveling in Asia, primarily in Asia, but traveling, and um, I make videos on travel, on food, on um, you know, finding local spots, uh, language to help you in those places, really just any way to, you know, enhance your experience abroad, connect with people, connect with locals, and really maybe access some of the things that you didn't think were possible uh, when going to a new place. So if that is content that you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit the notification bell to make sure that you don't miss out on any of the content that I'm putting out there. Every single week I put out three to four videos per week. Um, and yeah, so uh, today we are in my Airbnb here in Tokyo, Japan. I just thought I would give you guys a little bit of a tour before I, you know, put my stuff down. I literally just walked in and sorry about the light. Uh, there's like a light literally right above my head, so I know I'm a little overblown. Um, but let's take a look at what we've got here in this Airbnb. So the first thing, like if you've seen my video on uh, my Airbnb in Kyoto, um, there is always a Ginkan. Uh, Ginkan is just like the little area, the entrance area where you can take off your shoes. And there's always one of these. Uh, big closet where you can put a lot of things, but one of them obviously is, this is where people put their shoes. Um, and you can put like umbrellas and hang random things, just really any kind of just storage to be honest. So when you're in, you can even see, they have a sign, because it's an Airbnb. Um, there are slippers that you can put on and keep your feet warm, which is super nice. Next, we have the kitchen, which, to be honest, for the Airbnbs I've stayed in, this is like such a nice kitchen. It's separated from the entire room. Uh, it's got a stove top, which most of them have. Um, but big drawers with, or big uh, cabinets with pans and pots so you can cook is one of the ways that I save a lot of money while traveling abroad is just uh, cooking at home. Um, this actually doesn't have that much under here. Normally there's more. It's just pretty basic and then up here like normal there are some cups, plates, and mugs. Um, and then this water heater which is nice. You always have hot water, a microwave. This actually might be a stove. No, it's a microwave. Uh, usually for any Airbnb, they will have like a manual that they'll send you and all this stuff will be translated. So if you're in a place where you like really don't speak the language, I mean, obviously you can just reach out to your Airbnb host, but usually they send you like a manual that's like in a Google Drive or something like that. And it will have like a very detailed list of every single thing. So like how to turn on the microwave, what everything means, whatever, all that stuff. And then we've got the fridge here, which is very nice, big, and it's got a freezer which normally I don't get in my Airbnbs. So next we have the bathroom, which this is like so nice. This is like so big. What's up? Uh, lots of space uh, to put whatever you need to put in. Um, even a cupboard down. I'm only here for three days, so I'm not gonna like really utilize a lot of this space, but it's got a washer. Uh, which is so nice and again this will have instructions on how to use this and so you make sure that you don't do anything incorrectly and then this is my like love a bath I love baths but this is a wet shower so the shower and the bath are in the same area but this one has a window which is very nice and I'm not used to so obviously the one last thing you're probably wondering is Bathroom, toilet. So it's actually a whole separate room, which is nice. And there's even a little area for cabinet. And then the cool thing about Japanese toilets 
is when you flush, so this means small, this means big. So like flush like a little bit of water, a lot of water. So when you flush, water comes out. So you can just wash your hands, which is super helpful. All right, let's head to the room. All right, so this is absolutely gorgeous. This is actually two separate beds, um, but so big and so spacious and so nice. There's a TV right here, a little place for me to edit. I love, like, this is actually one of the new things that I, like, require in Airbnbs are, is, like, a table with chairs because I, I edit so often that, like, I cannot sit on chairs that, like, are stools or I can't, like, edit on the bed or anything because I just end up hunched over. So having a chair like that is super, super helpful and it's like my new thing. Before it was Wi-Fi and like normal things, now it's like a chair with a back, but whatever. let's look at the rest of the room. And then I have this massive closet. If I wanted, I could even sleep in here. I mean, it's big, like. I can get, like, you could fit like seven people in here. And then the beds. It's nice they have like extra blankets too. Ooh, sorry. And then let's see this view. This is in Akasaka. It's not bad. It's a cloudy day here today in Tokyo. The last part that I didn't even know existed is a balcony. This I've never had in an Airbnb, which is crazy. Beautiful Tokyo. All right, so that wraps it up here in my Airbnb here in Tokyo. Um, this is obviously a much nicer one than I've stayed in before. Uh, but if you wanna check out the other ones that I've stayed in in Seoul and in Busan and in Kyoto, go check them out on my channel. Um, let me know if you stayed in an Airbnb in Asia, what that experience was like for you, if you stayed in a really nice one or in, like, it's, I try my hardest because I don't have like a lot of money to spend. Um, and so I don't really have the ability to be going for like luxury Airbnbs. Um, these are my last uh, three days in Tokyo before I go back to the States to do some like paperwork stuff. Um, and then I'll be back in Japan. So um, I decided to just splurge. And so this was, I think, $100, $100 USD a night. I'm also here in February, which is like a really low tourist season because it's the coldest part of the year. Um, but this was $100, very nice. I'm, you know, obviously has Wi-Fi, uh, all that stuff. And so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm not going to put in a language portion um, for this because I just wanted this to just be like an Airbnb, like see my Airbnb kind of video. If you guys wish I would have, I will put that in the next Airbnb video that I do. Um, but let's just keep being empathetic. Let's keep wandering, keep spreading positivity. I really appreciate anyone that watches these and I hope you all have a wonderful day.